So is there still worry in this community that that yes. hospital is being targeted? Yes, yeah. and, and absolutely. Among those of us who've been here before, we've been this road before. We've had to go public and raise our arms years ago in order to save it. This used to be a 54-bed hospital with four doctors, for Pete's sake. We have no doubt that their intent was that it would be closed, and it would have been done by now if we hadn't gotten on our hind legs and made it too uncomfortable to do it. That we need to keep this hospital here because it fills a role that isn't being filled by hospitals around us. Two years ago in December, I had a fall, and I had a need to go into Edmonton. Having had that fall, I had some internal bleeding. By being able to go into this hospital, my own doctor came on immediately and knew exactly what had to be done. And that's the advantage of our rural hospitals. It has absolutely got to go back to autonomous care. City people don't have a clue, I'm sorry, but they really don't. Because for them to hop on a bus and run across town to the doctor is one thing. For us to hop on a vehicle and drive somewhere anymore, you don't make a trip to Edmonton for less than a hundred dollars. Not a whole lot of seniors have that kind of money. If a patient is in a hospital in Edmonton and he is discharged in Edmonton and he has to go back to hospital care, the overflow is coming here. And they are housed here for whatever period of time it takes before they can be transferred back to their own hospital. That's happening in Bonneville, it's happening in St. Paul, where we're putting up those kind of people. If this hospital were taken out, that uh, is gone. Besides, all this whole eastern uh, population is going to be forced to sit on uh, waiting lists in Bonneville, St. Paul, or someplace else. You would think the progressive conservatives, would, this would be a writing they'd like to take back and so that they would want to do things for the community that would cause them, people to vote for them. But sometimes they also want to punish people for voting the other way. It may happen with this new media, uh, premier. It may happen that he will see that, oh, I better get that back. Well, you don't have to fight for it if he wants it back because the man we have now has gone out of his way to uh, be in all areas of his constituency trying to help in areas that are needing help. So they're going to have to fight for it. Mm -hmm. But you know, that's politics. <laughs> Hopefully uh, uh, the new health minister will listen to us. People tell me, oh, he was a very good mayor, and I said, good for Edmonton, but is it going to be good for rural Alberta? He's going to have a chance to prove himself. He better prove himself because he, uh, he's not going to help the party any if he doesn't.